So if you're born in 1980s like me, chances are that you grew up riding the Yamaha RX-100s, the RD350s, the CBZ, and of course, the bike that restarted the power biking revolution in India, the Pulsar 180 in 2001. And then the era of the R15 came, and then all of a sudden, India started making motorcycles for manufacturers that we couldn't even imagine that they will sell their bikes in India, like KTM. And then we started making even better and bigger motorcycles, more powerful motorcycles. The RC390s, the 300s, and today, I'm glad to say that I'm getting goosebumps because I never thought that I will be riding a made in India Aprilia right here at the Coimbatore track, the Kari Speedway. And this is the Aprilia 457. Well, this is the RS 457 made in India by Aprilia at their Baramati plant and now being ridden here in India. In fact, if I'm not wrong, India will be the first country in the world to see this being sold. Good other days right now. We are at the epicenter of motorcycling in India and globally we are becoming a superpower in many things, especially in motorcycling. First of all, looks like a true blue Aprilia right from the front. The insane DRLs, I mean, they remind me of an anime character or a superhero. Nothing short of beautiful. And the true Italian flair that we see in all, all Aprilias, right from the rear end, the tail light to the tank, the meaty tank that carries over from the bigger RSV4s and, of course, the RS660 that we never got to see too many of those in India, unfortunately. But I think this indicates that the era of youth has finally arrived here in India and globally because it is youth that are dictating what kind of motorcycles that they want. Today, the economy works in a, in a way that a company will be made or broken, a model will be made or broken based on how the youth of a country, especially India, receives it. When the RS457 was first unveiled, everyone went crazy, you know, because it's an Aprilia. And Aprilia is an exotic enough brand for people to warrant, to take out their old posters or even to look at magazines in which they saw in Aprilia. Because in India, Aprilia never actually got uh, too deep into the motorcycling culture. They never had too many showrooms. I feel personally that the RSV4 has been one of the best um, leader class motorcycles to be made ever. You know, and if you ride that motorcycle, you will never forget the the symphony of the the V4 engine. It is unlike anything out there uh, in a production motorcycle at the moment. So what Aprilia has done is taken the DNA from their bigger motorcycles and infused the RS457 with the right amount of character. The looks are absolutely spot on even from the fins on the side to the you know micro spoilers up front and like i said the drls even the clip-ons everything is so well sorted and of course the segment first in the industry you've got an aluminum frame right over here which gives it an even bigger motorcycle uh, look so you don't actually feel that you're just riding a 455 cc motorcycle right over here the engine is where uh, a motorcycle is actually made or, or brake, it's uh, inline twin. And uh, let's first hear how it sounds. I actually like the sound. It's got enough bass, it's got enough grunt for someone that who's listening, even at standstill, to feel that, yes, this thing has got power. The tires that they've used are TVS Eurogrip Pro Torque tires, and these tires are one of the best that you can get. These are steel radials. You've got components also which are now being made in India, not only assembly. And that is one of the major reasons why this motorcycle is only going to cost 4.1 lakhs X showroom here in India, which is an absolutely steel deal considering the kind of package you're getting, the brand legacy, the electronics, the engine, and the looks everything 
So now let's hit the track. Oh boy, I am delighted. I am so happy deep down. And it is true that this is one of the reasons why we ride is that because riding makes us happy. What else makes us happy is when you know that there is a new motorcycle which is actually good in town. And this one, I'm just coming after riding from the track here, which is not exactly a very fast flowing track. But still, I enjoyed this bike so much that I can't tell you. In the cornering, it was very precise. It went where I wanted it to go. But the best part is that this bike is not actually very compact. And that is how I like my motorcycles to be. Because the tank is so meaty, the bike, you know, you actually have a lot of space to hug the motorcycle. You feel that there is something underneath you. Yet at the same time, it is quite compact. As you know, you feel the weight. The weight is one of the most important factors when you have a track motorcycle and this is 159 kgs dry and 173 kgs odd wet which is not exactly class leading but it is one of the lightest motorcycles out there and this also shows when you go on the track now this color scheme here they have the racing stripes you can also go for the white which looks stupendous with the red alloy wheels and then you also have another version of it which is kind of a chameleon kind of a color you know which merges with the black and it also has red alloys when you are riding it hard you know on the track you want one thing you want quick shifter so i was hoping that this bike would come with a quick shifter as standard but they told me no that is an optional accessory which we have to buy uh, i think at the time of placing the order how much will it cost over the 4.1 lacks a showroom already we don't know as of now and i'm also hoping that we will get more options like rear seat cowl and sliders spools you know stuff like that from an aprilia showroom and i'm happy to say that aprilia is officially in partnership with castrol all over the world and of course i will also be using castrol power One ultimate as and when i get my own 457 The engine is ready, it's a matter of time that Aprilia adds other motorcycles uh, from other genres like maybe a Touareg or a Tuono to the lineup. And then I think it will make more uh, economically, it will make more sense for Aprilia to invest in showrooms. But for now, I want to see a showroom there in North India for Aprilia so that we can also buy the bigger RSV4 which like I said sounds amazing, heavenly. So now let's talk about its competitors, uh, the motorcycles in the same segment. The first bike that actually comes in our mind is the RC390 from KTM. Uh, there are of course a lot of differences between the two motorcycles but the segment is the same that is a 390cc, 375cc and this has a little bit more cubic capacity compared to that and the major thing is that it has one more cylinder so it will be more relaxed, it sounds better and it can sound even better if you put an aftermarket exhaust. Would you want to go for the RC390 or the Aprilia 457? It depends on a lot of factors. One of them is, like I said, serviceability after you buy the motorcycle, availability of the parts. So we will see that in due course of time. The other bikes, the Ninja 400 uh, is not really in the segment because of the prohibitive cost, relatively prohibitive cost. And then, of course, if you compare the looks, and the character, I think the Aprilia 457 has a lot more character than the Ninja 400. Which other bike? The Apache RRC10. 
uh, because of its lower CC, I think it just makes it into the segment. But that is also a very capable motorcycle as we know. And if you talk about looks, because we can't really compare the performance between the two motorcycles, I think the Aprilia looks meatier than the Apache RR310, but that is also almost right up there as far as the looks is concerned. Now, how can we forget the Yamaha R3, which has been just recently launched, but because of the price and the lack of features compared to the 457, I think, if you ask me, we have a winner in this segment and that is the Aprilia 457. But like I said, time will tell because a lot of other things matter not only the product but what happens after you buy the product and most importantly where can you see this product in your city or near your city let's hope things work out for aprilia india because more the merrier the more competition that we have i think it's better for uh, our youth our economy and especially the tagline of aprilia here even when you do the startup the console says be a racer this is all about racing, this is all about precision riding, this is all about adopting uh, discipline and precision at a very early stage. Why? Because this bike can be a very easy first motorcycle and that is the exact reason why this is 47 horsepower and not more even though it could have produced more power because this, like I said, has to be learner's legal uh, or rookie legal or whatever they would say in Europe and in countries like Australia and that is why it is 47 horsepower only but I think that if you do the ride mods you can get it up to around 50 to 53 horsepower which is um, an amazing thing you know in, as far as this whole package is concerned the braking was at par with my expectations because I was doing late braking on the track uh, although the ABS was working overtime in some places but I feel that you know there's an option of course to turn the rear ABS off this whole package including braking the tires the engine the looks and the ergonomics is basically designed for the road but at the same time it can easily make you into a pro racer so that when you want to upgrade you will have the RS660 or even the RSV4 so Aprilia please have the RSV4 in every showroom that you want to sell the 457 in because that is the aspirational motorcycle that one would want to upgrade to after they have a taste of Aprilia. Another Italian on our shows and I hope that they taste as much success as Ducati has in India. Now talking about showrooms, as I can see right now, it looks the part, it also goes like it's supposed to. But if you don't have showrooms, uh, how will it sell? Now that is a major challenge for Aprilia India. Let's see how many showrooms can they open. Should you buy this bike? Let me tell you that this is a fantastic deal. But don't trust any reviews on the internet. Don't trust photos. You have to see this bike for yourself. Physically touch it, smell it, hear it. And of course, if you can, ride it. And then decide for yourself. Until then, ride safe, ride hard. Be a racer, but on the track. Ciao.